Hey there. I'm excited to share how I foster collaboration and excellence with a community of young writers here at the House of Education. I've created an immersive experience through an hour long session that blends storytelling, doodling, and the exhilaration of writing sprints. And the best part, they're all held online for your convenience. In my creative writing programs, young minds are captivated, transforming writing into an art form that's both engaging and educational. Students share their ideas vocally, using toys as inspirational tools, and brainstorming by writing on the classroom dashboard live with their peers. We work together creating ideas and each student independently writes their own short stories. During our sessions, students read their stories to the group, give and receive feedback. They highlight phrases they liked, they discuss relevance of the story moments, and they evaluate descriptions, like the setting of the story. It's a vibrant community where collaboration and creativity truly thrives. Come join us and see what the magic is for yourself. Your introductions next. So who is your doll? Obviously, you know, I only have Shannon. And what president is she going to discover something about? And is she doing like a parade? Is she going to a museum with her school? Um, is she writing a report about her favorite president? Like you have to imagine what thing is she going to do in your story about a past president? And then of course, because we're using our Legos for our setting, how much visual aspect was put into their story? These are the things you want to think about when you write down notes as you're listening to each other's stories. Who is ready to share their story, what they have so far? Remember, we're not going for done. We're just going for writing. Who wants to share what they have so far first? Oops, she has got her hand up already. Awesome. One thing you liked about Brick Tales today, what was it? I have no idea. Well, you'll have to think about it. Ethan's got an idea. Uh, that we actually wrote what we told for the writing. Yeah, that was awesome, wasn't it? That's the best thing ever. Okay, Gia. Like, I could use my own imagination, and like, there was like the red herring. Yes, the red herring trick. Awesome. And you got to use your imagination. It's this like perfect world, isn't it? Okay, we are going to take and make an introduction for our dolls. So you're going to grab your notebook. I don't know where I put my other notebook. But you're going to grab your notebook and you're going to grab your pencil. You already know your doll's name. That's an easy one. Though you can change it if you want to. You don't have to keep it that. But you're going to do an introduction telling about your character and what they love to do and how they are going to miss doing it while they are camping at a national park. Okay? So it's, hi, my name is Shannon, and I love photography. Lucky for her, she's not going to miss it too much because she's going to bring her camera with. What she's going to miss is the uploading it and sharing it. Yes, Maddie. Can I start? Yes. <laughs> Ooh, a graveyard? And it's a skeleton vacuuming in the graveyard. He's vacuuming? Oh no! What is he vacuuming? He's vacuuming the grave. Uh oh! Oh my goodness! That is going to be a wild story for sure. Because you've got a skeleton and a vacuum cleaner. Two things that don't normally go together. Oh, I can't wait to see where your story goes. Mmm, so interesting. So, Sia, let's take a tour of yours. It's like a house, a haunted house. Oh, look at all those webs. On oh. it. <gasps> Whoa. Decorated it. That's awesome. Look at those eyes up there. Bats everywhere and the webs. I love it. 
inside there's a web. <gasps> that's super duper big. Ooh, so tell me. And then it's on a cloud. And it's a haunted house on a cloud. Yes. Oh. Ooh. It's on a cloud. So it, it might be a magical haunted house. Yes, that is that has evil magic. Evil magic. Oh no. Now who's gonna end up there at this cloud lifted haunted house? <laughs> How do we get s'mores back? <laughs> so you have some choices. You can, you know. Uber eats them in, go to the city and go grab some more, or somebody was smart and packed extras. Or, or Vivian, or Vivian. Nothing funny. If it's funny, then no. <laughs> <laughs> you can write that in your own story, Vivian. Bear comes back with the s'mores. <laughs> <laughs> Bear comes That's back. That's right. No, Bear comes back. The star comes back with the s'mores. Okay. Yeah, and that's what I just said. So it, it returns the s'mores. I don't know if you want Bear smushed s'mores, but maybe. Okay, 